Hello again, it's Cobalt DM. I'm back for another tutorial to show you how to create a fully automated shopping experience in D&D. As a DM, I love when my players want to spend their money, but shopping can take ages of in-game time away from more meaningful adventures and roleplay. So I decided to put together a guide on using a few modules in Foundry VTT that can make the experience a breeze, while also enhancing player immersion in the world. The setting I'll use to demonstrate this is a bazaar. This is a place the players frequent regularly to restock on supplies, so a little extra effort on my part will go a long way to flesh out this familiar place of respite. Tom Carter's made this map, chock full of unique shops for anything you could ever buy. Go support his work on Patreon. The modules you'll need to set up your merchants are D&D 5e NPC Loot Sheet, which provides the shop interface, Trigger Happy, which provides the functionality to trigger certain macros on a click, and NPC Chatter, which allows you to play a string of text randomly chosen from a list you create on an NPC. With all the modules downloaded, ensure they are activated in your world. The first step is to create an actor as an NPC. Click Create Actor, give them a name, and make sure they're set to NPC. Once it's created, go to its sheet settings found here, and change its sheet to a loot sheet. Then, make sure to change this type of sheet to Merchant. You should also click here to give your players permissions to use the Merchant. With a Merchant sheet, you can drag and drop items from your compendium directly into the sheet. Their weight and GP value will be correctly copied over, but you might want to give your Merchant a higher quantity to work with. When a player clicks the dollar sign icon, they'll make a purchase. When this happens, the item will be taken out of stock and placed in the player's inventory. The player will also be automatically deducted the cost of the item, and the merchant will receive the gold in their inventory. The chat message plays when a transaction occurs, so don't worry about losing track of who bought what. It should allow your players to make more purchases on their own of smaller items like reagents or consumables, while still allowing you as the DM to roleplay the merchant when they sell something more expensive or when the players are haggling. Speaking of haggling, this button allows you to lower the prices of all items by a certain percentage amount. This will be useful for haggling, or when the players have done something to earn a discount. To make things more immersive, let's add some chatter to the NPCs when the players click on them. We will first have to set up Trigger Happy. Go to your Journals tab, and make a new folder called Trigger Happy. It must be called this to work. Then, make a new journal. You can call this whatever you like. Inside the journal, you'll be writing this line of text. Basically, it means when this token is clicked, run this macro. That's all you need to do with triggers. Next, we'll be setting up the dialogue. Go to the Rollable Tables tab and make a folder. It must be called NPC Chatter. Then, make a table starting with the name of the NPC, and then Chatter. It'll look something like this. Inside the new table, start filling out lines of dialogue. Make sure that it is not displayed in chat, and that the formula matches the amount of dialogues. Finally, we'll be setting up a macro. All you need to do is click an empty space in your action bar, change the type of macro to script, and copy this code in. I'll be putting this code in the description. The only thing you need to change is this section here. It needs to be the name of the token that you're working with. Ensure that the scene you're working in is the active scene, and test it out. You should see a text box pop up above the token. The chatter will only activate if you click off and then on again, so you nor your players are at risk of spamming it when you double click for the actual merchant shop. That's it! It's not too difficult to set all of this up, and I recommend really only doing it for NPCs that the players will revisit time and time again. However, you can use the merchant page for any merchant they encounter, as it will probably make the process a lot faster. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and that these changes improve your campaign as much as they did mine. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Foundry VTT creations. I'll be making a part 2 of this bazaar soon to expand upon its immersion, and show you other ways of using the NPC chatter module. Thanks for watching!